ಬಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ we are discussing the process of purification different methods <coughs> have been described uh, by price chitta and by tapasya we have discussed and then kevalaya bhakta bhakti includes everything karma gyan jog everything and it is specially recommended that by austerities and other methods there is possibility but in the, it may not be successful but if we adopt this process devotional service then it is sure uh, <clears throat> so this purificatory process means nivritti marga and pravritti marga means uh, without any knowledge where we are going on rasa hain we are doing everything whatever we like that is called pravritti mark people are generally engaged in pravritti mark especially in this age they do not care what is going to happen next therefore they feel relief that there is no life after death let us enjoy this life to the best capacity then after death never mind uh, what will come first of all they deny to believe the next life and even there is next life and even if i am going to become cats and dogs uh, they do not mind this is the experience of the modern age irresponsible life but our krishna consciousness movement is teaching people that don't live irresponsibly take for example that you may say there is no life but if i put the argument suppose there is life Uh, now this is also supposition because nobody those who are in ignorance they do not know whether there is life or whether there is no life so you are arguing there is no life but you do not know whether there is life that is not in your knowledge so suppose you have to take both the ways and think over it you are simply thinking on the point that there is no life now why don't you take my proposition if there is life uh, because you are not a certain whether there is life we say there is life we take the example that's like this child has got his next life uh, the child may say there is no life next life but actually that is not the fact the fact is there there is life the child will change this body and he will become a boy and the boy will change this body he will become a young man that is a fact uh, but by uh, simply obstinacy if you say there is no life that you can say but take this argument if there is life then how much irresponsibly you are uh, making your future life so dark uh, 
In the same example, if a child does not go to school, does not take education, if he thinks there is no other life than this life, I shall play all day, why shall I go to school? He may say so, but there is life. And if he does not take education, in next life, when he is a young man, if he is not posted in a good position, then he suffers. This is irresponsible life. So, uh, before we get next life, we must be free from all sinful life. Otherwise we are not going to have better life. Uh, especially going back to home, back to Godhead, uh, one has to finish the resultant action of his sinful life in this life. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita we will find Jesam Antagatam Papam Jananam Punna Karmana Te Dhanda Maha Nirmakta Bhajanti Maang Dhirabhrita To become a staunch devotee of Krishna, perfect devotee of Krishna, means one has become freed from all reaction of uh, sinful life. Jisham anto gatam papa. No more committing any sinful activities. And whatever sinful activities he had done in his previous life, that is also uh, negative. Uh, that is also made uh, negation. There is no more reaction. Jisham to anto gatam papa. Janana punna karma. And the people are engaged either in sinful activities or in pious activities. So those who have not only finished the resultant action of their past sinful activities, but at the present moment they are simply engaged in pious activities. Uh, such person, jīśāṁ tu antagatana pāpam janānāṁ punna karmāṇā, te such person, Dandha Maha Nirmakta, without any hesitation, without any doubt, bhajanti maag dirabhata. That is the one. So anyone who is engaged in Krishna's service with firm conviction and devotion, it is to be understood that he is now free from all reaction of sinful activity. 